In the last video, we used the divergence theorem to show that the flux across this surface right now, which is equal to the divergence of f o o along or summed up in, throughout the entire region, it's equal to 0. And what I want to do in this video is think a little bit, and whenever you get an answer like 0, you want to think about why is it? This is saying that there's no, there's no net flux across this surface right over here. Or if you sum up all of the divergences in this volume, you are getting 0. So why is that? Well, the simple way to think about it is when we took the divergence of f, this vector field f is hard to visualize, but the divergence of f is fairly easy to visualize. The divergence is equal to 2 times x. So over here, you're going to get, as you go further and further in this direction, as x becomes larger, your divergence becomes more and more positive. So you have very, you have kind of a divergence of 2 right over here, you have a divergence of 1 along that line, and you have a divergence of 0 right there. And that's also true, obviously, as you go higher, because you're just changing the z, you're not changing the x. So all over here, you have positive divergence. Over there, you have positive divergence, and not just along that plane, but if you go in the x direction as well, this kind of this whole region of space, you have positive divergence. I guess you could say in the positive x side of our of our octant. But then, as you go in that side, on the other side, you have negative divergence. And this this diagram is symmetric with respect to the z y plane, and so those divergences cancel them out. You would have had a positive flux across the surface, or a positive value right over here. Instead of calculating it for this region, we had calculated it for a region that was just between x is 0 and 1. So let's just think about that region. So that region that would have been cut off right over here, that would have been cut off right over there. And so the back, I guess you could say the back wall of that, the back wall of this would have been would have been the z y plane. Now, if we care about this, if we care about this volume, so we're essentially eliminating the rest of it. So let me try to eliminate it as best as I can. Change the colors. So if I eliminate that part of it over there, and all maybe even what we see, all of that, I should have deleted that first. So if we eliminate the back part of it, and we're just dealing with we're just dealing it with, with it when x is positive, then our entire solution that we did in the last video would have been the exact same, except now x is going to vary between, instead of negative 1 and 1, it'll vary between 0 and 1. And so our bounds of integration, x is going to go between 0 and 1, 0 and 1. And then in that situation, our final answer, this part, this would be between 0 and 1, that would all be 0, and we would be left with 3 halves minus 1 half. 3 halves minus 1 half is 1 minus 1 6, which is just going to be 5 6. And so when you just think about this part of it, this side of it, this one that I've just drawn, you had a positive flux of 5 6. On the other side, you had a negative flux of 5 6, and then they canceled it out. One way to interpret that is if you think about that entire if, you, if we thought about the entire surface, like what we saw in the last video, that you had an aggregate inward flux in the last video, that's why it was negative, and then it's completely offset by an outward flux right over here, the positive. Or you had a negative divergence in that other region, and you have a positive divergence that completely offsets it in this region right over here.